In this video, I'm going to show you how to download TikTok after the US ban. So I'm a little bit frustrated and a little bit upset with Apple and Google that they won't let you download TikTok normally on their platforms, even though the ban has been lifted. So regardless, I'm going to show you how to get around that. And uh, this is just good uh, to know. I mean, if you wanted to uh, download an app that you can't get in your country, this is probably a good way to do it. Or you're like me and you accidentally deleted the app and now you can't get it. All right, you can see right here I can't download it, so click on the top right corner where your little profile picture is. You want to get into your app settings. Once you get in there, you're going to see region. Click on that and change country or region. Go ahead and scroll down until you see a country. I'm just going to use Canada, for example. I mean, I'm based in the U.S., but I'm just going to click our, my little friendly neighbor there, uh, Canada. Click on that. And I got to just fill out some uh, basic information. So hit the word agree. And then you're going to go down to payment information, none. And you got to put in a fake address. So what I did, I just used ChatGPT. I was like, hey, come on, give me a fake address in, uh, in Canada. And he gave me this info. I saved it. My number is not 555 but it worked. And then now you're going to see when I search for TikTok, it will come up. But we're not done yet. So now we got to trick the uh, phone to think that we're coming from a different location. So you need to set up a VPN. You need to turn off um, location services on your phone. So you go to your apps, go to settings. Uh, you're going to turn off location services. Turn off your Bluetooth if you haven't done that already. Turn off your cellular. Reboot your phone. And you see after the reboot, it's now letting me download the app. So it's really that easy. Um, I also add a connect to a VPN. So make sure you connect to a VPN of your choice. There's a couple free ones out there. You have to watch a commercial too, but this is just to get by. I mean, I, I want to experiment with proxy servers. I think that would do the same thing as well, but it's a little bit more complex. But for anybody else, this is probably the easiest way for you to do it. And it's just good practice uh, when it comes to trying to learn how privacy works and freedom of speech. And also, I just don't understand it's not, it's still not, it's not banned, but we still can't get it on Apple and Google. Like, I don't understand where, why that is. It's, it's okay to have it, but you just can't download it. It doesn't make any sense. But regardless, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.